Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight to Row. And I am back with another video for you guys. And um, today we're not doing a pick a card reading. I tried to film a whole pick a card reading today and <laughs> I lost the footage. Well, some of it anyways. It got corrupted. So I decided to like come out with just a general message. Um, I want to see what's coming up um, on this, what we can expect after the 21st or leading up to the 21st. This 21st feels like there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of energies that are swirling around us, creating shifts, creating very strange, energetic, how do I say this? energy pockets okay um yeah so leading up to the 21st i really feel like a lot of the energies surrounding certain people surrounding people have been kind of heavy to say the least right our bodies have been going through all of this ascension process and 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 you know all these weird sensations that we're feeling you know sometimes i'm not too aware of them i i am aware of like what happens to my body and stuff but it's just like you know you, you can't possibly be aware of every single thing right i think i should blow that out so yeah um what else was i gonna see So basically, I was guided to do. I'm guided to do a reading on what's going to happen on this twenty first. Um, what we can expect. Um, what we're manifesting. Um, what else? I see. I'm a lot. I just realized. Anyways, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what spirit has to say. Let's see what our guides. Our angels would like to see the eyes. This deck is pretty huge for my hands, but I still want to use them because I was guided to use this particular deck for this particular reading. Okay. I don't want to make it too long. seven of fire okay with seven of fire what am i sensing with this right some of you are feeling uh kind of defensive um yeah you 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 some of you are feeling defensive some of you are feeling like you are um standing up for your beliefs basically a lot of you are feeling like you want to stand up for your beliefs stand up for who you are stand up for what you um um represent you want to represent yourself okay standing your ground choose your battles wisely okay so the advice here i'm hearing like there's advice coming through from the angels right um don't get too caught up in because defending your your stance or defending your position of somehow because what i'm sensing from this is because um i'm sensing a little bit of e ego driven motives okay there's a there's a there's a desire to win at all costs i'm hearing okay um don't don't put yourself in that uh energy i'm hearing um it's very stressful it will it can be very stressful on the body it can be very stressful on your back i'm hearing um i'm also hearing that it this this energy of you trying to defend to the point of exhaustion Mm. I'm hearing rest, okay? 
I'm hearing spirit say rest. Okay? Rest. You don't need to go up against all these people. Okay? Rest. Yeah. Well, that flipped over. The dreamer, the fool. This flipped over. I don't know how that flipped over, but that was flipped over. Okay, so with the dreamer here, this is the fool card. Okay, new beginnings. All right, because we, what is coming in is a reset. I'm hearing. Okay, there's a reset that's happening, and all of this won't matter anymore. Okay. So this is why it's draining you because whatever it is that you're defending yourself from is actually draining you more than it is defending you, okay? Um, yeah, I'm hearing with the dreamer here, I'm hearing rest and, and, and daydream, okay? Daydream. I'm hearing more. Do do more daydreaming rather than defending. Okay. <laughs> more daydreaming than defending. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. Because the more you daydream, okay, when you're daydreaming, you are co-creating. Okay. When you're daydreaming about something that you foresee in the future or you want to foresee in the future, that is you co-creating. Okay. As long as you believe it, as long as you trust that you're co-creating, that is you co-creating, okay? And Spirit is asking you to take time out and rather than defending yourself against, like, I don't know who you're trying to defend yourself, I, I guess it's a group of people, I'm hearing groups of people, I'm hearing sometimes, some, some of you might be defending yourself against friends and family, maybe going up against, um, you know, just, just this defensive mode. I'm not saying you're going out there attacking people, but you are in defensive mode, which means you, you are trying to... get some point across spirit is asking you to um rest and daydream okay with the dreamer here right let's see what are we daydreaming yes day daydream manifest unity this is what we're trying to move yes four of fire right unity eleven eleven Okay, union, unity in union. We're supposed to be manifesting unions, okay? Wow. New beginnings. Some of you are definitely, most definitely being paired up with um, your counterparts, your, your soulmates, okay, high-level soulmates. If you believe in twin flames, then yes, twin flames. Um, For me, I personally, I personally believe that we are being um, met up with our soulmates, okay? Uh, our soul tribes, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be um, within the love department. Unity here is oneness. I'm hearing oneness, okay? Okay, stop. Because, like I said, once we come into this reset, there's no such thing as separation okay there's no me against the world or me against you me against this we're coming into a time where with 11 11 it's union okay unity okay Let spirit come to the rescue. Let the universe do its work. Okay, let spirit do its work. Anything that you feel that you have to defend yourself against, ask your, ask your angels. Ask your angels to help you with this. Okay? Rather than you... Exhausting yourself. Okay, unnecessarily exhausting yourself, right? 
it says here contentment peace and abundance we're coming into this new cycle okay a happy home life the successful completion of a project okay the reason why we are all met with our soulmates our union uh we're, we're coming into union okay after we have we are coming into union first of all first of all first and foremost we're coming into union with ourselves okay the dreamer that's why you need to dream when you start dreaming when you start going within you spend more time with yourself when you spend more time with yourself you get to know yourself you get to know yourself you fall in love with yourself how can you not fall in love with yourself right how can you not fall in love with yourself with all the time that you spent with yourself, with all the time that you 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 spent with your inner child, you spent with your higher self, you spent with you, you know, all all this time in isolation, it wasn't wasn't for nothing. Okay, it's for you to come into union with yourself first. And then once you come into union with yourself, right? Once you are in union with who you are, okay, at the core, oh my goodness, my candle just went out. Okay, I need another one. Hold on, guys. I need a candle. It's the only one burning right now. The ones all behind me have run out. Mm. To the rescue. Yeah. Let spirit come to the rescue. Let your angels do that for you, okay? Mm. What else? Lower your defenses. You don't need to be so defensive, I'm hearing. Okay. And with four fire and unity here, this is what we're coming into. We're meant to see that we we are, you know. We're supposed to be uniting rather than fighting each other or being so defensive. Uniting doesn't mean that you need to physically like be with everyone and hold hands and be like, Kumbaya, my lord. No, it's not like that. It is having compassion and understanding of how the universe works of why things are the way they are. Allowing things to happen as they should. Okay? Because if one person tries to control their situation, let's say you in your reality, you're trying to control how things come to you, you're trying to control how uh, things should work out for you. You are being impatient or, you know, this is that seven of fire you hear, being very, very defensive when it comes to life in general, okay? The people around you and everything. You don't need to be, you, 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 you can, wow, that is a big flame. You can lower your defenses, okay? Lower your defenses. Right, I'm here. Lower your defenses, because we're being, we're we're being made to reset. What we what we're made to do right now, up until the twenty first, is just rest. I'm hearing that's basically what we need to do. We 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 rest, right, and um. Yeah, with this four of fire and unity, a lot of you are going to come into union. Like after this twenty first, I'm hearing by law you have to come into union with your soulmates because you have a life purpose here together with your soulmate with your twin okay and to me i feel like twins are very rare i mean in the past i you know it's twin flames are a rarity okay not everyone is going to come into union with their twin flame in this lifetime Okay, sometimes it takes a few lifetimes, right? Because you have so much karma and so much lessons to learn, right? You have to come into acceptance of that. You, you know, 
it's not the end all be all to have to end up with your twin flame, right? Sometimes you, some of you are even, you don't even know who your twin is. It's it's like you, you, you guys have been met with false twins, false alarms, let's just say false alarms and, and you know, (laughs) all of that. But yeah, that's not the point. Being with your twin is not the point. It's not about being with another. It's about coming into union with you, yourself, who you are. This dreamer. This, this. Finally, understanding who you are at the core. Finally, understanding your wants and your needs, right? And not settling for less, right? Because you know your worth. You know how amazing you are. This song is so cheesy. Hold on, let me just... (laughs) I don't want to channel to that. Let's see. Okay, this one will do. Yeah. Some of you might be, um, oops. getting married. 2021, some of you are most definitely getting married. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, um, ma- um, some of you might be getting eloped, I'm hearing. Um, you're not even going to give a shit about the frills and all this about the wedding you you just want to be you know in union without the frills this is true love it's not about you know having a big wedding it's not about having goodness i mean of course it's nice to have a huge ass wedding if you can afford it right but it's going to be the union is going to come in a way that is going to be so satisfactory for you and your soul okay not your ego it's going to be it's going to satisfy your soul okay because those days are past now like you're not trying to satisfy your ego anymore okay you the things that you used to want you don't want anymore the people who you used to want you don't want anymore the environments that you used to be in you don't want to be in anymore right And you getting out of that situation does not involve you having a huge, expensive wedding, right? It's about coming into union, right? Energetic union. With self. And once you come into union with self, it's like a, it's like a, how do I say this? It's like a switch. Once you come into union with yourself, right, you switch on a magnet. So it's almost like you switch on a magnet of your vibration and you're magnetizing the person who is the complete vibrational match to you to come towards you, okay? As long as you keep that switch of you being in union with yourself on, right? Okay. So, let's see. What else expect for some reason four is a significant number as of late okay nine of earth eight of air okay nine of earth nine of pentacles eight of swords and some of you are so scared to just be single for a while uh, king of water Mm, okay and ace of earth right 
Okay, so some of you are most definitely getting proposed to, or if not proposal, you're going to receive a higher level of commitment from a either a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and in a lot of my previous readings and a previous um, I don't know readings, a lot of the water signs have been showing up, especially Cancer. I'm here, and you know the chariot keeps coming out, which means things are moving forward, right? Things are most definitely moving forward. But some of you are so. Um, how to say this when with nine of earth and it comes under seven of fire you're becoming defensive okay you are mm. some of you might be dealing with a taurus i'm hearing also an aries or aquarius okay cancer pisces scorpio i'm seeing some fire signs in here the mostly like all signs are here basically all signs are here okay and you're coming into union okay okay i'm hearing something so the okay so the eight of swords basically um Let's put my charger on. The Eight of Swords is self limiting beliefs. Okay, you feel trapped, right? It's almost like no, you feel not not trapped, it's almost like you feel lost because you're 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 trying to enter a new beginning. Like I said, we are all like in a void right now. We're 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 still in the midst of um, waiting for that wheel to turn so that things ha start happening around us right now not a lot is happening I'm hearing okay not too many n not a lot is happening right a lot is happening on the 5d though but on the 3d it seems like everything is just so stagnant right but there's a there's a reason why there's this pause it's because it's giving you a chance it's giving you time to really like map out your manifest manifestations with the dreamer here like i said dreamer and e of air you're meant to sit and daydream and this is not you wasting time some of you might feel like oh my god do i really have to just sit and daydream you know some of you don't even have don't even have the patience to do that you know some of you might be thinking like this is a waste of time me sitting here daydreaming that is also self-limiting beliefs all of those kind of thoughts are the self-limiting beliefs right those kind of thoughts are hindering from your manifestation okay of you coming into union with yourself because you're not believing in it right you're not you're not feeling it right you're not feeling it okay but this with the four of wands and the king of water you're coming into a time where you're going to experience this beautiful trustworthy compassionate respected and cultured kind of love right open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work okay so some of you um might be stepping into your some of you are already stepping into your life purpose i'm hearing um yes and you're being and your love life is being paused at the moment and you're some of you are just like freaking out like when is this gonna happen or what was what's happening right now it seems like everything is just like at a pause right there's a reason for this okay things are being there's a things are being um Even though you feel like nothing is happening, things are happening. There's a lot of things that are shifting in the background, I'm hearing, okay? Because the end result is unity and this Ace of Pentacles, okay? There is a new beginning, a new abundant beginning for all of us, for all of us, okay? For all of us in different... <coughs> <coughs> In different areas of our lives right not just love <coughs> new opportunities
new ways of expressing yourself, new ways of creating abundance, new ways of creating, new... a lot of advancements in technology, a lot of... <clears throat> A lot of things are being advanced and even you know <coughs> even you in general you are being advanced right now through all this ascension process stuff that we have to go through stuff that we are experiencing and we can't really much stop it either it's like acceptance is the key right rather than being so defensive and questioning and being in a state of resistance you know questioning keep you know when you keep questioning 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 when is this gonna happen why is this gonna happen this and that and that <clears throat> you're putting yourself in the state where you're not trusting okay and the fool right the fool before it takes a leap of faith that's what it has is it has faith trust a leap of faith Okay, follow your dreams. It needs to have that trust. You can't be taking a leap of faith if you don't trust in the unknown. You won't, right? You won't. Okay? So, yeah. Enjoy the single time at this time, right? In, in, enjoy your own energy, okay? Being single doesn't mean you're... you're <laughs> you have the green light to go and you know mess around you know you can do that if you want but like I said with every single with every decision that you make upon your own body right there's always a consequence to it okay there's always a consequence to it right like because I said there's no good or bad there's only choices consequences and lessons right yeah so right now what you're meant to be doing is enjoying life's little luxuries okay life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone successful self-employment you guys like i said you're stepping into your life purpose and you are actually um uh beginning to <coughs> see the fruits of your labor not in its full form right now but it is it's coming to that and you can feel this you can feel this you can feel that abundance like coming in you know in waves i'm hearing in waves right but don't let this okay as a collective we don't want to be in this state of mind where you know th this this is very contradicting energy you know like this wanting to completely take a leap of faith in something completely new but then being absolutely terrified of it okay this is very conflicting energies so it's not gonna work you know because if you stay in this position right it's creating resistance it is creating resistance and it's creating tension right within your energy field right it's creating tension and that's why you're so defensive all the time, right? Okay, the seven of fire. You feel like you want to push things forward quickly. We're all moving towards this, you know, new cycle, new age of Aquarius as a collective, right? As a collective in unity, right? So, yeah, okay. And for those of you who really want a timeline as to when all of this is going to play out, all of this is, uh, the, I'm hearing five months because I'm seeing here unity okay could happen you know taurus season could be a significant time for us all right um with the ace of earth here 
I'm hearing um, during this time within the five months, um, a lot of people are going to be, um, yeah, within five months, I'm hearing within five months up until Taurus season, right? Um, next year, you guys are going to be coming into union, you know, and planning out your lives together. Okay, but right now, right now, in the present, in the present, right now, okay, we are here, we're still here, okay, we're still trying to uh, how do I say this? Dismantle the belief that we are separated from everyone, right? You've got to understand that we are all connected, okay, even with the ones who are not as aware, right? You've got to understand how, how, how you've got to understand that we were once there too, right? We were once in that same position of being completely unaware. Well, not completely unaware, but, you know, unaware. So have some compassion for these people I'm hearing. could be a message for someone out there have compassion for the people who you know who are, who are not as aware okay I think let's see bottom of the deck seven of earth yeah Okay, so um, I know that not a lot of people out there are so ecstatic to hear this, but yes, we are, right now, we are waiting. We've already planted the seeds, right? We are still in waiting mode. That doesn't mean we have to just sit around and wait, okay? It says here clearly, um, enjoying life's little luxuries. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, and I don't mean splurge, I mean enjoy your time with yourself. Enjoy your own energy at this time. All right however that means to you enjoy your own energy okay revel in who you are right get to know you like you would get to know a lover if you want a lover to get to know you understand who you are right understand your wants and your needs you need to understand those things yourself first for you to be able to communicate those needs and wants you know First of all, to yourself, and then to the universe, and then to your partner or to your counterpart, right? So yeah, understand you. Fall in love with yourself first. I feel like the same, the same, the same message came out in my last general reading, I guess, collective reading. Okay, but yeah. This, this is the time, this is the time where you won't be interrupted by <laughs> other lovers, okay? You're meant to be getting to know who you are and your higher self is and aligning with your higher self, basically, okay? Because that's what you need. Well, not need, but that's that's... It's almost like a requirement for you to come into your higher to, to come into union with your higher self. Okay? It's a requirement. I'm hearing it's a requirement. <laughs> for anything before any of this happens. Right? But all in divine timing. Our favorite phrase, our favorite line, all in divine timing. Right? Okay, so I think that's why uh, my general message for today. Um, I won't be coming out with a pick a card reading until um, I guess tomorrow, the day after. I feel like I need to rest. I tried to film uh, a whole pick a card reading today, and I lost the footage. Some of the footage is corrupted, so I had to redo that, and it's it pretty drained me. <laughs> I guess it wasn't meant to be, but that's okay. Okay, I will... Oh, yes. Um, I would also like to announce that um, 
I will be giving another free reading giveaway once I hit the one once I hit the one thousand subscriber mark, right? Once I hit one thousand subscribers and I'm very close, I think I'm about what seventy subs away. And once I reach that mark, I will be giving out another free reading for you guys. So please uh stay tuned and look out for my next video. Okay. And that's a message from your counterpart. Okay, my love. Okay, my love. I'll be home soon. Right? Soon. I guess that's it. <laughs> I will see you guys. In the next video thank you so much for coming to my channel thank you and if you are a new subscriber thank you so much for your subscribes um i will see you guys I'm repeating myself again i will see you guys in the next video bye good night